Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's a triple option. Unfortunately, it's our first triple option after an L for the Florida State Seminoles this season. However, we're going to give championship level effort because that's all that you guys deserve. Obviously, I'm here with my two best friends that anybody could have. Coach Adam Brown, Kevin Little. What's up? Mahalo, boys. But <laughs> Mahalo. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Soul of the Islands here. Heart of Tafiti. But we've got a special guest here. Bourbon football man. 24-7 stalwart Brendan Sinone. Brendan, how art thou? Oh, I'm just enjoying some bourbon. Hugging it, like not drinking it, just physically enjoying it. I'm well, great. Coddling it, I'd say. Yeah, it was very sensual. Um, how you doing, Ooh, man? You. Uh, so we're gonna get into the film. I'm glad to have you on with us, man, because you do a great job, like breaking down all the plays in your article, uh, in your in your football analytical articles for Knowles 24 seven. It's fun to get you on here again to, to like break down some film. I want your thoughts first, as the special guest. What did you think like the biggest story of Florida State's 31 to 21 loss against Wake Forest was after a day or two to marinate on it? I had mentioned this in the press box to Chris during the game. I wrote about it a little bit uh, afterwards and, and kind of we expanded on, on today's on the bench. And, and that's it. The way the game flow kind of went reminded me a lot of covering last year's FSU team, just where you had three or four big positional deficits that you couldn't overcome. Uh, and that really dictated what you could or couldn't do throughout the game and with that in mind. And I think AB touched on this really well uh, in the instant. And that's that, that wake more or less dictated terms of the contest. And that was pretty clear from the onset, you know, after that, Span in the late first quarter, early second quarter, uh, kind of circling around the J trap fumble. Uh, Wake is able to get ahead, get a nice little cushion, and then kind of call it shots and, and control the game it wanted to. And the third downs uh, were problematic for Florida State on both sides of the ball. Uh, run defense was uh, there was a lot of little things I'm sure we'll get into, but yeah, basically Wake was able to do what it wanted to do against a team that, that felt pretty handicapped in, in a few key areas. I agree with you, man. That's kind of the death knell for a football game, right? You want to play aggressive. You want to play confident. You want to play fast. It really seemed like outside of that first drive that Florida State had, Wake grabbed like the reins of that game and never really let it go. Florida State, being the Mike Norvell coach team that they are, they were resilient. They responded. But against a top 15, top 20 team like Wake Forest, man, you, you can't spot them that many points. So I was agree. The performance was way too reactive for me, and that's something that's really stuck with me over the past couple of days. Adam? It, it, you've watched the game again since our instant reaction. Is there anything else that really sticks out to you, or does it just confirm? <laughs> I love your I love your tagline. Um, <laughs> do you, is there anything else that, that changed for you since that first initial watch, or were your initial thoughts confirmed on the rewatch? Yeah, no, I, I think my thoughts were confirmed. Um, I, to, to just to carry over what we talked about on in the instant, and then what Brendan was just talking about. I really thought like deficits dictated more so than what Wake Forest did. I thought it was deficits of your team dictated to Mike Norvell and staff what they wanted to do. Um, they they don't. I don't think they have a ton of confidence in what they've got going on in the secondary. So you're playing a lot of too high safeties, and that's ask you know, you know that's forcing you to try to stop the run game with six guys, and then you're missing D Lyman that's killing you. Um, you ran down, you went down the field using some RPO stuff on the first drive. Then you try to come back to it and Marcus and Douglas just can't block it up. Uh, and I thought they kind of went away from it from then on your tackles really, and we're going to get into it. They, they may be worse than they were last year by a decent amount. Um, so interesting. Well, okay. Yeah. So it just got, just gets reconfirmed for me, uh, in the rewatch that I really thought, as much as we are giving credit to Wake Forest because they do deserve credit for going out and winning the game that I thought this loss was about Florida State more than it was about Wake Forest. That's a good way to put it. And I think this, this was the game because it's maybe reminiscent of last year. This was a performance with a team that was clearly handicapped on what the coaches could do. Offense, defense, 100% on special teams. But this was the game where personnel really constrained from what the coaches wanted to do. And like you said, all credit to Wake. They did some things that really some wrinkles in their game that really kind of befuddled Florida State for a little bit. But a lot of it was just personnel, just their their guys in the trenches were just winning the winning their battles. Kevin, what did you think? We, you weren't on the instant with us. You were at a wedding. 
Mazel tov. Good for you, my friend. I'm glad you got away from that for a little bit. Uh, what were, what are your initial thoughts on the game before we head into the film? Yeah, it's interesting. Cause I kind of got to hear everybody's thoughts on the game before I, I, I went back and watched it myself. Um, yeah, going into the game, I, I, I spent a lot of time talking about Wake Forest's offense and how I would approach it if I was Adam Fuller and how I think it is smart to approach it based off the numbers you have and the players you have. And I, I, I thought that um, I thought that's what they did. Uh, I thought that they had the right approach going into that game, and you guys can tell me I'm crazy, um, but I thought the defense performed – about as well as you can expect the defense to perform. I think if you have Fabian Lovett, uh, you shut them down even more. Um, but it's it's kind of a Jacksonville State situation where um, people are upset about some big plays on defense, but then no one turns and looks at the the 17 points you put on Jacksonville State. Well, no one's looking at the 21 points you put on Wake Forest. And I think, I think that's the story. I think the fact that you couldn't establish the run against Wake Forest is just is kind of where this the state of the program is. Um, and you know, I if you guys expected to go undefeated this year, then I'm I'm sorry this this was a rude awakening. But it's just not how that was going to go down. And Wake Forest is the second best team you're going to play all season. So um, hopefully they Ooh, learn from these things. Spicy. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's, I, I like that. I, I don't like think that. it's particularly think close. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> uh, NC State. I don't know. Just yeah, I mean, NC yeah. State, but I I don't know. I think Wake Forest is going to be NC State. Um, I mean, well, we will we will find out. <laughs> but I, 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 no, I'm with you. I think the thing that was shocking, it wasn't really. Thir- if you would have told Florida State fans before the game, like you're going to hold Wake to 31. I think most people would say, you know, mm-hmm. that, that's a range where I think Florida State's got better than a coin flip chance to win. The thing that was really shocking to me was Florida State's offensive inconsistency uh, and Wake's ability to establish their running game versus Florida State's inability to establish the, our running game. I think that those were the things that were really shocking. So I'm I'm with you, Kev. Defense obviously didn't cover itself in glory at all. There was a lot of issues, and a lot of that was due to personnel. We already talked about the defensive line. I thought this was a really – shaky if not bad performance from the linebackers so we'll see what the film says but um yeah i, I i'm with you I, I really think the offensive inability was the was the big story of the game and dictated by personnel but that's enough chitta chatta let's get into the film kevin do you have it ready to roll let's go here we go opening kickoff it just <laughs> it was like an ominous sign that this was not gonna go i mean yeah weird on. weird vibes yeah, Brendan talked about it on OTB today with uh, Chris and Zach. That he he felt the energy was weird. I don't disagree with him at all. There, the uh, sideline actions, uh, the the body language, it just it it did not feel like the team we watched. The regardless of result, did not feel like the team we watched. It's a good time. Here's the RPOs that AB's talking about. Uh, yeah, and they're and they're they're bringing they're bringing uh, Douglas across to look like um, some split zone stuff. So they're bringing him across the formation. He's going to block in the end. They're trying to account for him out there. All right there. Yep. And you see, I mean, he whips on him there. I mean, that's just, that's not good enough. You got to at least stay on your feet. I don't know why he's falling over. All right, you're getting a little running game going. Uh, so this was, I got to see this before, before I he- headed off. And this was encouraging. Kev's leaving to to the wedding, thinking that all's well in the world. They'll be able to run for two hundred fifty yards on Wake. That was that was the thought. Um, I was wrong about that. I thought I thought Florida State would be able to run on this team. I, and I guess I, I want to see if Wake Forest defense did anything different. But man, they look so confident and decisive on this first drive. And Trisha yeah, Ward's always great. It's just down. They just ran down. They ran a lot of the different set, but I don't. Yeah. This, they're just getting gap runs. I mean, that's all it is. They're just getting gap runs in there, and they got uh, Big Meech pulling out in front. Let me. I, I want to focus on. Um, I, I want to run back and watch it again from behind if we can, and I really want to focus on the tackles if we if we can specifically to the play side. So, is that the earliest it starts? Yeah, it starts like okay, midway through the slow. snap. All right, it's tough from the other angle to see to watch Jazz. Yeah, here we go. This is as early as I can get it for mm-hmm. you. Yeah. 
hasn't even started yet. That's how we're oh, we love it. All right, so Jazz. So it looks like he ends up kind of doubling. That kid gets into Mo, and so the guy kind of gets blocked for him. Yeah, and Jazz kind of falls into it, and then the tight end does a nice job getting on. It's hard to tell. I, I can't tell who it is. So getting on on a defensive lineman. Yeah, and box them out. It's a good yep. two Wake Forest guys yeah. kind of run themselves out of the play. Yeah, yeah, that was a, the Wake kind of Wake kind of overran that a lot. That you kind of did you a couple mm-hmm. favors on that one. Either way, nice gap run. Then they try to come back and run it again. And Jazz doesn't get movement. Yeah, looks none like of them really do. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dylan Dylan can't overtake. Oh, a lot of pen. Well, it's a screen. So nice screen. Yeah. I'd say it, it, I thought he had a fun start to the game, old biscuit. But like you said, Adam, I guess his, <laughs> the the blocking and abilities were all right. So this time, head. this time's better on the RPO. Right, you're talking about here. Yeah, yeah, that was good contact. Cool to see. They ran a lot of both the, the RPO out of the pistol and that screen concept we saw a lot during the week of practice too. Um, so it's cool to see them execute that well in the script. It's good ball, man. Nice yeah, to see Mike to have a good game. He's a yeah. He he. I don't man. know if the I don't know if the condensed is going to show it, but he made yeah. a lot of winning football plays. Unfortunately, in a losing performance. Who did? Micah Pittman. Pittman he had a really yeah. good game. Yeah. Right. Second and one. Second. Yeah. Second. A lot of a lot of second, third, and medium to short. Unfortunately, there's fourth and one. I mean, you're just getting destroyed. So what happened? I guess what happened there, Adam? What just just push? I don't know. We need to go back to it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to see in the middle. That's a poor effort on fourth and one. <laughs> what was the penalty? Was it a holding penalty that negates it? I forget. I or think so. It? So you just got. I mean, they just got a hat on a hat on everybody. Malcolm, yeah, Malcolm, Ray, Malcolm Ray gets be... um, pushed back pretty badly on that play. Yeah, and he's been dealing. He had to leave the game for a little bit with a shoulder. Yeah, recurring. gets it. drilled out of there. Lundy's attached. McLennan's getting beat up on pretty good. Coops getting doubled. You need. Yeah, I mean, they just get a hat on a hat. I mean, it's what yeah, like, they just push you game. back. Man. Defensive right. tackle can't be three yards no. backwards with a body no. turn. It's just that's not going to. So get luckily, it good break for so FSU gets punt. negated yep. there, oh. and then <laughs> Pittman jumps on the ball. Yeah, so if they it. from that one, if they win the game, that's a you know that's a another hustle play that gets kind of overshadowed there for Micah since they lost. But I feel like Jordan had enough time there. Just good coverage, guys. Low snap. There was a couple bad snaps on the. Yeah, there was. Yeah, so this is mesh. Developing mesh, right? Yeah, this is mesh. You got crossers. Honestly, just neither one of these guys get any separation. Oh, he kind of stumbles there, and I think yeah. he threw it off. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I think I think the better the better option is go down to Pittman down here. His his defender is kind of going over. He's got more of a chance to kind of take this, but I mean, he's going to his guy. I don't. Well, I don't think he's in position to th- redirect that throw to the left. I think he's got to go to the right because the yeah. pressure ends up getting there. Pressure. I took so long because it, it's a first down if Johnny gets out of it clean. If he gets to his rock clean, yeah, he kind of trips here at the beginning. Yeah, and it, it screws all play up. I mean, meshes a at the timing play, right? They're yeah. supposed to be setting pseudo picks for each other, and so yep, yeah, it's easy to defend. But that's a you thing. I mean, wait. You know, you you give Wake a break because you screw up the route. Bad snap, bad route. Like that's just you know, yeah. That's all the above. Az Thomas there. He he's got to play he's more. Tr- he's trending. I like it. He's trending. He's, <laughs> nice little stunt here you on are. the edge. That's nice. All right, so you get a nice little tackle tackle end stunt with Farmer and Leonard Warner. Warner. Yeah, and you're you're keeping six in the box here on their six, mm-hmm. and so you're. Keeping two safeties back and hoping that your six can one of them can make a play here. And Warner does, you know, and then and what happens also, up. Jared Jackson doesn't get blown out of there. Right. You hold difference. this and it gives time for the linebackers to get up. Yep. You want a one on one. Right. So good execution did not happen enough. And we will 
unfortunately see that it did right early happen. on in the game it's looking it's looking bright for florida state they, you're able to run the ball on some level it looks like they're struggling let's uh, take a look at third football. and 12 i wonder what happens here this is this is a toughie we blow we blow an assignment all right so can you guys let me know what so dj lundy's the delay blitz uh what'd you call ab it's a it's a green dog yeah, that's a green dog that's a green dog what are they trying to accomplish with it so he's got the back and man Mm-hmm. If the back doesn't go, he he's he's a free rusher. Okay. But if the back releases, then he's got to follow. Releases, the he's got him. Yeah. And, and more so, I, I understand the concept of that, but like they just, I guess watch how Lundy plays it, and I just don't understand. What no, he got, he, I mean, that's what is he going to do? Run through four offensive linemen staring well, at him? Well, then what? What? What's the point of blitzing him or sending him in then? If you're just going to play patty cake with the center. Drop well, you, you, you gotta hope you, drop here, you gotta but... hope that the other guys in the defensive line do their jobs a little bit better, and maybe you get one of those delayed holes like up in the interior if the center's looking to help on another guy. And then we we've seen that that type of blitz kind of screw Florida State's offensive lineup. Wake Forest is just way more experienced. I don't know. I say it to Green Hill though, but this is really this is really weird. You, you drop both your ends. Yeah, Warner's in coverage here, right? Two of them are two. Of them in coverage, them. and I guess it's, I don't know if it's McClendon. So it's a zone. It looks like a weird developing zone blitz, then, right? I don't know. But like none so of it looks like cover four. But they're here. playing man. No, they're playing man everywhere. That's what I thought, but I don't know. He's in a zone drop here early. Mm-hmm. My my sole job is to derail things, and I think I've done an excellent job of that on this. No, it's this is we it gets so, way weirder than this. I think one. No, you're fine. I think my question is either Renardo Green is wrong because either you're in cover two and you need to be tighter on whoever comes out of this and yeah. not let them just have a easy hitch completion at the sticks, or Kevin Knowles is wrong and this is actually cover four and he needs to take the first person to the flats, which he follows. In instead, right? He's following this guy when he's already got help on the inside. My question is: Was this man or was this cover four? And he just is in the wrong place. And you can't see enough on the back end to know. Sadly, right. I think I think honestly, the execution of it was pretty poor at every level. <laughs> it just I don't know. That's, well, that's here's, tough. here's that's the honest of it. That shit happens too much. Yeah, for sure. In your, and then in what happens third here? Damn season. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yep. The game plan is fine, but you cannot be having just people not knowing where they're going. And you're you're running fairly basic stuff. And it didn't seem like Wake was doing anything like no, trickery no, wise no. or misdirection to setting anything up. Like you just guy just got free. Well, to be this, fair, this team, I mean, this team shits a bet against bunch looks all the time because they mis- miscommunicate the hell out of everything. Well, this yeah, is just Renardo of- Green getting wor- worked by AT. That and the the, off, yeah. the defensive line got stonewalled. I mean, just watch this. And he's got safety help too. So I mean, for him to be playing inside yeah. doesn't. So he's ever playing it. Yeah, that's but, him. Just so the coaches talked about pressing, and I feel like that this play, like that's an example of you're just not doing what you're supposed to do for whatever reason. You're trying. Well, to he gets kind of we lazy in here. We 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 press like... Matt, We we mirror everything. We never disrupt the route. And there's never hands on hands down at there. the bottom of the screen. There is, but why isn't there at the top? So why are the got why are the two guys at the, at the to the field side getting hands on and he's not? Why is he not touching anybody? Does yeah, he not I don't. Have to? I never understood when they mirror and when they don't because I know they. So mirroring just implies that you don't put hands on them, right? So mm-hmm. sometimes. They do, and sometimes they don't. And I, I agree with you. I think that's a, a really Adam, good. Adam, and Kevin. Is that a misplay by Renardo Green thing, or is that a scheme thing? No. Uh, they've done it. They did it back in Memphis. It's always just kind of been how they play. So it that's part of the scheme. Reason. That's okay. So he played mm-hmm. it the way Fuller wants it to be played. Then and then, just man, the effort, the the effort on the tackling was. I know that's a soft factor that we don't really we, we like to talk about a little bit more in depth stuff, but <laughs> just Wake wanted the yards more every play. It felt like at least at the first half. Mm-hmm. There's not there's not just not decisiveness from the linebackers on this one, and then you just get whipped yeah, again. Just... I mean, Jared Jackson's blown off the ball. Yeah, I mean, just look at look at this push here. 
Ah, oh, yeah, that's easy. Does it look like he just kind of stands up too much, too? Is mm -hmm. that that's a good yeah. point, Brendan. Yeah, he leverage was not, time. yeah. All right, second and nine. Okay. Good, good block by Micah, and then that was all Johnny. Yeah, you're kind of looking at this guy. And yeah, you're taking the numbers. You got numbers on outside. He's cheating in. That's a man for Johnny to like have that little extra juice there. That's mm -hmm. that's nice. That's going to be helpful throughout the season. He's got a little giddy up and go. Yep. And a good block by Pittman out there. Yeah. Yeah. So moving the ball, you had you had one ba bad third down play. Third and nine. They rushed somehow got to third and nine. I mean, th they send three, and you're automatically like he's. Yeah. So they go in this wide, they go in this wide nine look and. Oh man. These tackles just can't handle it. They yeah. can't block it. This is so a so, three-man rush. Uh, Atkins, uh, coach, uh, offensive coordinator Alex Atkinson, offensive line coach, uh, today spoke about the wide nine a little bit. Um, so it's good on you guys to to observe that. I think pretty much before anyone else did, uh, that was they struggled with. But uh, he said like he, uh, more or less like they didn't prepare well enough to handle the the wide nine, and uh, the tackles got really stressed out by it. So, and I don't know how they couldn't like. Watch watch any of the past few games. Like these these tackles have struggled on speed rushes, and so it's just mm -hmm. natural to put someone out wide and give them leverage out there. Has Wake done anything, Kev, to your knowledge, like to that extent, to where they're going that far out wide in their pass rush package? I mean, I don't. It's not it's not an abnormal thing to just mm -hmm. mess around with. I don't think that's their their base pass rush rush package. But when yeah, you see someone still footed. It's a good play. That's nice. Is that Shaheen? Well, McClendon, Shaheen. Gives up, McClendon gives up the edge again. This are they trying trend to through the game? Are they trying to? Are they trying to um, bounce it for the linebackers? I don't Might think be. so. He seems like if they are, play. then this linebacker is totally in the wrong spot. He's just got his head. In, he's just got his head in the hole there, and that gives and he gives up leverage. That's I don't think they're trying to him. bounce it. He's got his head in the hole and. He's not. He's just, he's not. I don't mean this to sound bad. He's not good enough of a player to get back off of that and get outside. He's not that kind of an athlete. Not explosive. No. Uh, it's not his game. He's a high this energy. Is, this is what you see all day, and this is what this is where it doesn't matter what you call at the end of the day as a defensive coordinator. I mean, you you can't trust your kids to not just get. He just or giving up the inside right immediately. It, an easy win i mean you could say the kid won but he didn't he didn't really take anything it was all given to him so what what is That's that true. is that a technique thing or it's third and three i mean you, you'd want to think you'd want to protect the inside route right i don't know the coverage side looks like a robber maybe with the way jamie's up yeah that, coming down and I, but it's tough to see when he's coming down like if it's a robber he should already be coming down i mean he should be you can't here. see him um but watch Shaheem's based, really high up there. I don't know. Based on what – based on Cooper's alignment, I mean, if you believe Duke's alignment that he thinks he's got inside help. Then it, then that's on Jamie, and Jamie yeah. needs to be there sooner. Uh, yeah, he's, but he's to, your here. Earlier, to your earlier point, Adam, more physical play on the line of scrimmage, disrupting that route, disrupting the timing, that would give you more help. Yeah, I just don't understand just the free route. I don't understand the free releases on a lot of stuff. Was this, I, was this a DPI, I'm sure? Yeah, it's yeah. PI on Lundy. That's a Fuller, tough, Fuller, tough ask. Fuller talked about that later. It's like he's it, – it's yeah, what do you want he's to get his head around ultimately, but like there's not a whole lot you can do as a defender in that spot. Just, you know, and he didn't, really, he didn't even really do anything. I mean, it, he's got it covered pretty well. The ball's just underthrown. I mean, they – Yeah, it's just a bad throw more than anything. Yeah, Wait, that's what they do. They do it all the time. Wake's guys are so well coached too to like to go back and kind of go up with the theatrics to Oh yeah. Wake Wake around. knows how to get away with that. They know how to get away. They know how to hold. They know how to push off yep. on routes. They that's just what they do. I said on OTB it's like, today, it's like James Harden a couple, like a year and a half ago with uh or for most of us uh, here with the Jesus. And they're not uh, evil for doing it. It's just the way football like Yeah, they're taking that advantage. Rule exists. Take advantage of it. Yep. Smart a bunch of it's like when Green copies, Bay was you know? blocking by grabbing people's shoulder pads. Well, that's uh, you do it. You, so. you, you watch the film, Kev. You might see a little bit of Green Bay in this game. 
I don't think this was a terrible, like, I don't think this was an egregious, like, not holding call. I think Wake knew that they could get the edge on this team. Based on these runs? Like, Twitter was mad at this play. They thought Derek McClendon on the play side, defensive end there, gets held. I mean. Um, Can we talk about. Yeah, what the. Can we talk about this guy? Yeah, it's not. What the hell is he doing? Guys, I don't care about anything else. I don't care about a hold. I don't care about. What is this guy right here who should already probably not be playing much anyways based off previous performance? What is this guy doing on this That's play? a lot of yellow cats. Who is that guy? <laughs> it's uh, it's Jerry and Jerry Jones. Jones. Uh, oh, boy. I mean, you got to trigger at some point. Look, this guy's already... What is he doing? Is that is it Shaheem's angle? Is that problematic? Shaheem's angle's not great, but he's fitting inside of... He thought McClendon, he was going to get the outside. Who's supposed to be? Who should be forcing? And then McClendon doesn't I mean, get over, and then Jarian Jones doesn't help at all. No. Mm. And it's not Jarian's fault necessarily that this breaks to the outside, but it is fault. It is his fault that it's a thirty-yard gain instead of a five-yard gain. Yeah. I mean, everybody else is going to play the run. It's just too passive. It's on third and two. I mean, that's another thing. Down in situation on third and two, that's too passive. Those are fireable offenses. And that's, that's a pretty blatant hold. Yeah, uh, that that is a hold. But yeah, whatever. It's not cold. Uh, yeah, and he pulls him down. Uh, it's not pull down at the end. That gets that's a they didn't call it. Who cares? That's a they didn't call it. But it's not there's also it. nobody to the outside of McClendon, which is a big yeah. problem as well. I, I, yeah, wa- rewatching here, and I didn't think about it when I was watching it the second time. They definitely felt like they could get the edge on this team. A healthy Jared Verse makes such a big difference, man. This this just what broken play or what? I mean, and Cooper just looks slow. I mean, he just from this point on, watch this break outside. Cooper just, I, I don't know if he's like unhealthy or what, but there's no change of direction. That's for sure. Again, he has help inside. But he he's with them. Like he's with them. There's a push off there. But yeah, but right there. I mean, just get in trail. You don't have to play overplay it. Yeah, he just and then he can't keep, safety's he right can't there. Jamie's it. right there. Yeah. Poor they were poor situationally all day. At some point, somebody's gotta ask a question. In year three, why why is this continue to go on? Well, here's he's putting his he's jamming here. Yep. But not really. He whiffs. Yeah, it was a weak jam. That's probably why they're not jamming. But then you just need to be taught better technique for sure. That was third down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was third. That was third and goal. Instead of three, you give up seven. Yep. The, and the then Brendan, you broke this play down. Game. What? Yeah, what did you see here? You broke this down on Noel's twenty-four. Oh, no. oh, that's so, a lot of so, so it's it's seventy-one. It's it's Big Meech at right guard there. Um, right there, it's not he bad. took an angle expecting to be blocking an edge defender instead. It's a linebacker. And Alex Atkins talked about the, the picture change on them, and he didn't get a check that that was who he was supposed to be going after. So he kind of runs in blind, and uh, Meech didn't have a super active week of practice, I guess you can put it. And I think that showed uh, Jazz and Turner team. Not that it matters on this one, but it doesn't touch anyone either. That's the theme, unfortunately. Yeah, the best. There's no you awareness get on the day to look to the outside. Yeah, just not... oh. It's tough, yeah. man. This play that killed you. Like this, this is where you lost the game, right? Like yeah, this, this, this first half, change, you really did. The win probability changed drastically at this point. Yeah. Because that's when w- you guys talk about Wake being able to dictate terms. Now, all of a sudden, you're able to go and score on this again, um, and, and the game changes. Right. I, I, I very much got the impression that Florida State's game plan was get in, try to run the ball, be patient, be controlled. And as soon as this happens, now you're down 14 points, and you got to get out of that. The alarming part on that, too, guys, is like that was a design run for Jordan Travis. That was a quarterback counter. They tried mm-hmm. to run the ball with Jay Travis a few times. Like people were complaining they didn't run it enough with them when they, when they did, it was not effective at all, which is um, unsettling because you thought you, you can go on that whenever you needed to. Yeah. We so, blew it up, man. This is, this is something that needs to be talked about. We saw a well-timed run blitz earlier that 
resulted in a tackle for loss by Shaheen Brown. Uh, now Jamie Robinson comes in on a run blitz. Or I guess he gets a sack here, but good timing. Yeah. Really I mean, like done. people complain about the play calling and I have no problem with the play calling. I do have a problem with what AB was saying. I, I think your corners are, are getting beat here bad, but um, the, the one thing that I will say about that is if you follow, if you follow any sort of team after they get beat by Wake Forest or after they play Wake Forest, you'll hear them complain about how bad their corners suck no matter who it is. It was Clemson last week. It's going to be whoever next week. Wake Forest has good wide receivers, and they make your corners look bad. Um, who sucks on this play, guys? Uh, Kalen Deloach, Kalen Deloach. Looks like. Well, the some Deloach. reason he starts running with the – trying to get underneath number one instead of playing two. Yeah, and he's he got two all the way. Instead. Yeah, it looks like man coverage. I think at this point is when Mike Mike's talked about it, they start pressing – Guys start trying to do too much instead of doing their job. Well, it's also, I mean, I actually don't, I'm not sure because it's definitely zoned down here. So we got some sort of split, split field thing going on. It's possible that they're in, they're in some kind of cover six and he needs to leave this guy going inside and take the outside route. There's, it's a possibility it's on this. Well, well, at the end of the play, watch Kalen and Renardo do look at each other and give the what, what, what the hell to each other. Yeah, it's clearly blown. It's just you I think, blew it. I actually think that might be on Renardo. I think he takes him too early, and he's expecting to be able to take the in. The only reason I think that is because you can see down here he's gonna he's gonna drop out. It's zoned down here. So it's unlikely that it's zoned on one side of the field and man on the other. Mm -hmm. Easy made it way too easy. Happens way too often. Yeah, can't be having that. There's a good blitz. I think Just the game planning is fine. Oh, oh, this, is is this is tough, man. Yeah. Good dialed up blitz, good pressure, and then you, you just you just get smut. I, 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 Green didn't have a great game, but what what, what else are you gonna ask from there? Yeah, well, that's what Wake does, though, right? Like Wake did this against Clemson too. This kind of uh, that's part of doing business against a team that, that has a precise here, quarterback and good wide receivers. Yeah. Here he's getting his, here he's on the short side of the field again, and he's, he's jamming them just like we were saying they should be doing earlier. Great coverage. Touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you hadn't gotten pressure on him for at this point, most of the game and you finally get it with the, with a well-called blitz and just, yeah, I mean, a, a yeah, couple I think, of third and longs dictated this game early on. I think this is what a lot of people probably don't want me to say or don't want to hear, but uh, oh, Wake dude, Forest is a better dangerous. football team than Florida State. Yeah. Not to I, they, I, I, I thought about this today. <laughs> if, if they play 10 times after watching what we watch, I think Wake in this scenario probably went six to seven. Uh, no, With Florida State caveat, having who they have caveat. available. Is that what we're saying? State, yeah, in this, yes. in, this, in this week, this game at Florida State, like I think Wake – yeah, that's why we go probably sixty percent of the time. Wait. Yeah, with yeah, Jared Verse and Fabian Lovett and Robert Scott, I, I'm with yeah, you. Kev. I agree with Florida State is constructed right now. Uh, Jared Verse, even on a even on a limited pitch count, made a huge difference in the second half. So, yeah. oh yeah, if they were all together or there, I'm talking about like in this scenario of like yeah, for sure. I, I, I agree with both you guys. I agree with yep. both you guys. Week mm -hmm. one, it was probably different, but not but not right now. Not these return. teams I saw. Counter you get tray. a good kick to block turn. Florida State special teams, other than kicking, and that's a great effort play. <laughs> I mean, you're 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 under a lot of pressure right now. So, is it twenty? It's twenty one seven right now. Twenty one seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. All and right, here boom. we go. Havoc. This is, this is Justin missing. Oh, how do you not get a four? Get on a four eye. Yeah, this is this is easy compared to to even a three technique. This is. He is fodder for a down block. And his angle's just piss poor. I don't know what's going on there. The down block, you got to get your head across. Yeah, that's the first. That's the that's the rule with it, right, Adam? We need to a gosh darn. Oh. You're going to get Adam all fired up. I can see the hue change in his <laughs> face. But no, oh, like, here we go. For sake. 
What the? Uh, Where is he going? That's a, poor, that's a really bad first step. No, he is a three. I called him a four. I is a three. Yeah, I he is a three. I him more. I apologize. Come on, AB. It's not a this perfect angle, not, but still, you're not this even is trying. Middle school foot pop Warner football. The first step is bad, right? Like you can't immediately. Yeah, he pops he, straight up. He loses yeah. on the first step. Yeah, it's a toughie. It's a toughie, guys. No, toughie. It's a toughie. It's tough for Trayshawn Ward. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. It's not a toughie. It's an easy fix, but uh, it's something that you're going to be facing a lot in NC State next week. So, well, it's just what do you want? What do you want Norvell and the running backs to do at this point? You line them up wide, get beat with speed, and then you've also got guys getting beat across your face. <laughs> like they they win inside and outside on the edges. It's really brutal. So it's really hard to call a game. Flashes well, of 2021. Here's sure. here's the thing. This is Wake Forest is truly the first team to do this against Florida State. Uh, this season where they're going to be okay just sitting in coverage, bringing three and beating your offensive line. Um, most teams have been scared Florida State would run on them. Big Forest wasn't. And that makes it really hard to blame Jordan Travis for, for whatever his numbers were today or in this game. Because and what do you do if they're able to get immediate pressure with three and have eight back in coverage? The condensed game is not going to show it, though, and I wish we had a different angle because I feel, at least they were talking about in the announce booth, that there were some throws that Jordan missed. I don't think he had his share. He wasn't the reason they lost, Kev, but he didn't He didn't have a sharp. Oh, yeah, he, he missed he some throws, definitely. But yeah, yeah. He, but I'm with this. you. No, he, was, he, he wasn't the reason why the offense looked like crap. Miscommunicate this. This is bad. Look at this, this guys. Bad. Hey, third and long, a bunch set. Bet we miscommunicated. But three guys there. You got them. You got a Someone's chance to bring them down tackle. before the sticks. Does Akeem uh, it, does Dent look like he's loafing on that? Because it's, it's slow. I've watched it four or five times, and I'm not sure. I just think he needs to hit somebody. I don't know. <laughs> we haven't tackled very well at safety. Got to get disengaged, Jackson. Yeah, I think this is where you start to see. Yeah, it'd be nice to have Love it back. He's... Daniel Lyons is standing up to his guy, though, at least. You got that going for mm -hmm. you. It, yeah, it's, it's just, just... – How many plays has the defense seen already at this point in the first half, too? It was just they couldn't get off the field. A lot to their own doing. Well, we got two guys in the same gap. With Shaheem? No, is it Shaheem or, or is it, is it uh, Gant? That's Brennan Gant. Gant. Sorry, I saw that eight. Does one of them need to go inside there. the tight end there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotcha. he's got to fit inside. But that's good effort there. You one of the two them fourth does. down. It, yeah, it was a nice, nice play. They made the stop. They're going to convert Jackson. easily. Yep. Don't worry. <laughs> way, way easy. Twelve gets. Dude, twelve is getting whooped this game. He has gotten yeah. beat almost every snap. Boom. That needs to be talked about more. Twelve is getting worked. And, and as much as I'm complaining about secondary play, not really is the name of the game. That kid's getting his A kicked. He but he dude. really is. It's 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 really putting the defense in a tough spot. Oh, come on. Hey, pass interference. That's not pass interference. They call that for pass interference? Multiple oh. people oh, call yeah, this for dude. pass interference. Yeah. This is not catchable. This is not a catchable football. Well, also, 11 pulls him on top of him. <laughs> It's, well, it's okay. Wake's so well coached with the theatrics, though. Like, it's that's, I mean, I don't care about theatrics. Florida State could do that if you just change the color of the uniform. That's not getting called for Florida State. Nope, mm. never. I've yeah, never once seen face, that. Call. He's not face guarding him, he doesn't knock him down, he doesn't go through the, the throw. Is so far behind him, the wide receiver literally falls down on his own trying to just get don't understand what you want. If this you gets a gift with Johnny Wilson later in the game, there we go. Okay, There's and then. Jared Burst makes up for yeah. makes up for the call. Yeah, He's a if he played player. the entire game and like if you had him at hundred percent, and it does change the complexion of mm -hmm. it. Just he makes. Yeah, I think such they win if he plays the whole game. But yeah. alas, he didn't. Oh, God, another the difference another game up front too. Yeah, yeah, the kid knows how to play football. <laughs> Practice one one day last week. Why, why put him in so late in the second quarter? Were you just hoping that you would breeze by Wake Forest uh, to the point that like I, you wouldn't be needed? I don't, 
I don't know about that, man. It's a, I, I guess they were trying to distribute the snaps. I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. All right. This is the end of the half. This is the end of the half sequence, right? Are, yes. are we there yes. yet? All right. Yeah. I definitely want to have this conversation because I did not agree with what you guys were talking about on OTB today. Oh, Chris Knee was well, livid. What was the conversation? I, I thought about you guys the, were flat out calling? incorrect that they were playing for the field goal. I, uh, I don't, so I don't even get, know what that means. So what we get to is the second what the second down play call uh in the red zone when they just run the ball. Um, yeah, I I, I well, let's get very to it. vehemently disagreed with your guys. Dude, have you that. guys I mean Watch Mike Norvell's offense. The dude runs the football. Like that's what he's gonna do on and, second. And now, and I, the what I think out. people, what I think people make a mistake of is that running the football is a safe play. Conceding. When it when yeah. at times it isn't. And in, well, and what I think why I think why I disagree play, with the take is play. the play that they're going to run is not a standard running play. They they're trying to run a misdirection running play. They've had success running the ball on this drive already. That that whole sequence is why I think that I, I don't agree with what you guys were okay, saying about well, them playing. For let's take a look. Let's take a look. Because here's third and six. Obviously, I think you're calling you're you're doing four down calls right now, right? Obviously, like you're either gonna yes, get the first down or set yourself yep, up that's, for four. That's the thing, is you're doing yeah. yeah but no, so I third and six we'll there, get, you run we'll the ball. So this good, is this is the effort, sequence. Yeah. This is gonna be the series of plays. And I think that, that one there is important because you pop a seven yard run on third down. Right, they're playing yeah. cover. They're playing coverage at this point. So this this is the play that we had an issue with. So they're running a miss. They're they're trying to run a counter tray. They haven't ever shown this before, where they bring the tight end across like it's going to be split zone and then comes back. I here, personally, a, I think they ex, I think they anticipated a look here that they just didn't end up getting it. But I don't think that that's a safe run in the sense of just running inside zone up into the up in the middle of formation. It feels like they thought that the linebackers were keying this guy, and it really doesn't look like they are. They're not they, biting on this fake at all. Kev, can you see from the video? I think they had some timeouts to play with, right? Because Clawson called some timeouts of his own on this drive, which Where's actually has two. Clawson had just called a timeout. This is coming out of right, a timeout. So- Right, so but that means that Florida State, I think they they ran the the ball in this drive. Like they ran them quite a bit more than they, they would were... thought they would have got the chance to. I mm-hmm. remember th- commenting on that during the game. Oh, jazz, oh, jazz. jazz again. Um, but here's the th- question: If you're going for a field goal, why are you running the ball to the boundary? Like, why aren't you running it to the middle of the field? I just don't. I don't understand that logic. Um, uh, Fitz is better kicking from the right hash, um, but we see how that works. But he is more comfortable in that in practice. So you did have it's that. It's hard to say. I just I, you did have it in mind. I don't again, see I don't see why North agree with each other. That's why we do these things. Um, it just doesn't make any sense on any level. I don't think Norvell's like an absolute idiot. You no, know the type of you know <laughs> that, that, the type that's of not what I said. I'm not saying Norvell's no, yeah, an that's idiot. Not that's not fair. That, that wasn't <laughs> the comment. No, I Okay, going think, to kick the Clawson, field goal with a minute left with a dysfunctional right. kicker is an idiotic move. So if you're I mean, saying it, that's what he was doing, that's thinking, stupid. Then. But but then but then if then you could have if you didn't want to kick a field goal with the kicker, if you want to attempt it, then you could have played for four downs there, which isn't what they did. They settle for a field goal and they take a shot at the red zone or in the end zone here on third and ten instead of running it again. Also, I think this is a good throw, and I think Cam McDonald leaves him out to dry. And I don't necessarily think it's Cam McDonald's fault. I just think he's slow as molasses. But Brent, Brendan, would would you agree or would you disagree that running the ball oh, in second down is setting that. you up for a four down? Yeah, sequence? I I agree. I wasn't super. Chris was the one who was really like didn't like the second down play. I thought the whole sequence didn't make sense to me. Um, like I would have, like you, you settle for a field goal when you know, like just anything that was leading to him taking the field goal. Uh, without absolutely having to. So I don't understand why you take a shot in the end zone on third and 10 if you're running it on, on second down, I guess is part of it. Uh, because you're setting yourself up then for a field mm-hmm. goal and you just didn't want to. All right, so Partman just reads this and takes it. Yeah, he, he's, he bails he's, on the mesh and just takes off knowing the pressure's coming and we're getting eaten alive up front. Run run out back again. Let's watch the D-line again. That was a good difference of opinion, gentlemen. Then uh, run, run it back to the beginning. Or set up. There we go. I think Ken's the best football player on the field. So Warner, what do they got Warner doing? Run, run it back one more time. 
You're being Warner so is you're being Warner's lineup is, is Warner lineup as a three tech? It looks like they looks like he's yes. kind of in like a four so, eye type deal. Well, yeah, so we're he's in the we dirt, right? man. It looks like it's he's a four eye. Looks like we've got a head yeah. head up and then yeah. two four yeah. eyes. All right, I so we're, we're in a little odd, front, a little odd front here. We haven't seen a ton from them. And so he's going into the B gap. They're dropping Briggs. Briggs Are folds we in the third quarter, class. Kevin? It's actually, Are we in the third it's actually done yes. pretty well. Um, so yeah, just it's a really, just good, a play. It's a really play good play by, by Hartman. Hartman. Yeah. I mean, most quarterbacks aren't going to pull a read option and follow oh, where the running back would have. Flood Ruckers. Are we mirroring Hartman? Or are we uh, not mirroring? Are we spying Hartman? No, this is a green dog, but it's just weak. Well, so I, saying, the, the, I don't mind the green dog. This has been consistent through like this happened three or four times in the game. It's just this really flaccid. I don't get it. Yeah, that, whatever that is, it's not good enough. No, they do something like that later on in the dime package with the loach triggering, and it leads to a sack, and it looks totally different. Right. Who is who is the linebacker there? It looks I, like I'm Lundy. Trying to, I can't. Tell, I couldn't tell. It's a uh, Tatum. Is it he Tatum? Looked, he looked game. off this game. I, that's not for a kid whose main ability is like veteran, instinctual, like knowing where to be. That tackled, that looked way bad. too passive. Just like all that tackling there. Man, at Perry, at Perry. Eight this he's a stud. Away. That's that's an OPI. I mean, yeah, can they we throw that flag. They don't throw this ever. Oh, like, come he this, on, he did that all night. Give me a break. He gets away with that all season. He's good because he can get away with it. But, geez, yeah, I don't know what you want to say about that. No, that's that, that's an offensive pass interference. That's what that is. Yeah, probably see some. He got stuck with his hand when he's down there. All right, AB. AB doing Bush League injury moves. Hey, he's lighting you up. Oh, yeah. He's pushing off, too. I didn't Ooh. have to push up that time. Come on, Cooper. What happened to Cooper? On. Yeah, no foot. Look at that again. Just stonewalled, man. It's Tatum missing there in space. Yeah. This is a bad drive for Tatum at the, the end of the drive, too. He, he triggered it well. That's yeah, a bad angle. Better make that tackle. This, I mean, this that's offense a yard cost game. The, guys, this off. I mean, what what do you cause that hesitation to? Is it health? Is it this, just no. this offense messing with their head? This is really soft. Um, this is watch, very passive. Watch very Tatum. Passive. Yeah. Watch Tatum very again passive. on the on this play. This is also fifteen. Unfortunately, and again, he's had a great season, but this was a poor game for him. Oh, just yeah, that me- that screwed with him. Oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> He's kind of like doing the mesh step along with Wake in the running back. It really, it really messed with these he's guys. Just, he's just standing, like he's just standing up straight. What's interesting is the hole is seems very clearly here, and he's just gonna like duck away from it. Last second, he even well, he's has not looking to see at the his... running back. He's looking at Hartman the whole time. He's like looking over the offensive line there like... at Hartman. Man, he's not, not paying attention there. to the running back at all. I guess the running back does like a little stutter step. He goes. I don't know. I mean, was, you, you, your plan was to force the running backs to beat you, and your linebackers aren't. Yeah, that's a pretty focus blatant on the running back the at all. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. it is. AB that's right extremely here. blatant. Yeah, they don't call it. It's just hard to beat a team that's you know that's able to get away with some of these things. Shh, Nikes. Especially when you're not just out and better than them. Like yeah, I mean, Clemson Kalen just, tries to muck it up. Oh my god. Flipping heck out of here. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Come on. I hope that got sent in the ACC. That doesn't matter. ACC doesn't care. So now you're 28 to 7. You're getting brained right now. Yep. But the team responds. I mean, they do it. They've done it all season. Just you can't spot that many points. It, it did feel like there was some quit on that drive like they were going to, but credit to them, they, they didn't. Well, the defense just, needed to see that the offense had any sort of life before they were going to put know. their That's bodies That's coming out of the half, though, Kev. They played way too reactive and just from the linebackers to the cornerbacks. And... Shit. Hey, it's easy to score when you've got an OPI, the dude pushes off, and then you got a blatant hole in the middle of the, in the middle of the formation when he's going to make a tackle for a three-yard gain. Yeah, but yeah, you that, also, there you also missed really... like three tackles. You did, yeah, absolutely. That's, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, we – 
make it easy for them. The, yeah, the refs made it easy, but I just that that type of effort and performance coming out of halftime is inexcusable. Yeah, I agree. Great I think, throw. So decisive. we saw an RPO just a second ago. This this team needs until you can run the ball successfully, you need to be running RPOs up the wazoo. Soul play action. Boom. He had time. Yeah, that was nice. Wake's doing the same thing they did before. They're bringing three. I, lo I like that this was Jordan's worst game in quote unquote worst game, and he still had 161 passer rating. How far he's come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, absolutely. RPO um, again. You're moving the ball. Any. I uh, let's let's talk when you guys notice it about like tactics shifting for both teams or i know that there was some talk about there of maybe wake like taking their foot off the gas a little bit i don't remember noticing that on my first wake watch. hasn't changed anything defensively right, so run far. it back okay and we'll look offensively too i know that last drive they ran the ball because they were finding success and they were trying to kill it but i don't i mean i just remember floor state getting a lot better pressure on hartman and that's why the sacks increased oh did i i go back yeah me? please Is that the right tackle? What do you see, Adam? Yeah, he falls down. I mean, you're going to – I don't know if you're going to score here, but yeah, – Both pullers just seem <laughs> a little slow. Got a shot at it. Does Meech have to take a wider angle? Eh, no, no, Maurice didn't get He's got to get a much. little more depth, but it's okay. I, I, I would have liked a, a more violent punch on his guy, but at least he hits him and tries to get him out of the hole. It's just – I mean, there's too many times where 79s on the on the field, like on the turf without touching anyone or like moving his head around on a swivel, and he just there's too many plays like, where he doesn't he doesn't touch an opposing player. You'd if like you needs to be able to stay into the line of scrimmage more, not just isn't happening right now when they're pulling guys. And this is great. Football. Yeah, easy easy decision. You got man coverage here. Similar to the uh, concept where they had him against LSU, Micah. it's the exact play. Yeah, is it the exact one, Kev? Okay, yeah, and, and everyone was bitching about arms that. about it. Jordan just puts him in a better spot this yeah. time. Well, it's also I guess, worse coverage. This was second yeah, and goal versus fourth and like three. Uh, so I guess right. it's a little different, but yeah, yeah, touchdown's a touchdown. Well, it wasn't a touchdown against good LSU. Plays a good play, good play. That's a good ball. Good route. Uh, but here we we missed the fit. Yeah, the fits missed. So now you're going for two. And oh, so Adam this is I... really Dane. Dane brought this up. He went to a, a con, it was like a convention or speaking engagement that Norvell had about analytics. He talked about I think it was that exact scenario when if you're down twenty eight to seven, you go for two, uh, because if you don't get it, then you still have two more tries, mm -hmm. uh, two point conversions later. If you do get it, and if you do somehow mount the comeback. Uh, you all of a sudden, like if you score three t touchdowns, then you would technically be ahead. Uh, so that so, wasn't a fit decision, it, is what you're it was saying. not. That's what I thought initially, okay. but uh, he had talked about something very similar to that in the past. Uh, those analytics, Pat there Payton making Pat a play, Payton. he keeps getting better. So good early, yeah. Yep. This is Josh Farmer on this one, uh, also. That's good, Ben, for a big dude. Hell yeah, it looks like some coverage sacks. I mean, it's tough to tell, but. The way he's just, being forced to hold the ball. Wake's oh, there's some press down there. I think Wake's just packing it in. Yeah, Florida I don't State. see right. I mean, it's two pass plays in a row. They're not packing it in. They're trying to I, score more. Just for they played better. They're allowed to do that. The I think, audio audience, I'm winking. By the way. Yeah, I know you are. I just, I just don't. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll show itself. But on that series, that Wake wants to score. That's what they. I, I don't know. Shout out to shout out to the greatest pot stir ever, Bud Elliott. By the way, also also one thing oh, I want to point out came from okay. Yeah, yeah. One thing I want to point out is that Florida State didn't change their defensive philosophy or game plan on that drive. They were still dropping with two safeties, keeping five six men in the box. They were just able. They just won. They just won matchups. They didn't win in the first half. Did the coverage look any more like aggressive with what they were doing with the corners? It's, you can't. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's it hard to tell. In. But maybe, there. but you saw that happening very early in the first half. They were becoming more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Just a shame that Pittman didn't get to smash that rock with that hammer. Yeah, he had a great game. Good, man. Played really good. 
Uh, yeah, we so got this... a third and six, so we missed a couple uh, failed running plays, I assume. Good screen. Oh, One great of... effort. effort. Great effort by Ward. Smart. Trey's boy. <laughs> Trey's All day. boy. T-double <laughs> chat. All day. <laughs> Third, third and 19. We, we missed the holding call on Darius Washington. That would have been first and goal at the four. Um, I thought it was a questionable holding call. I didn't think it was that egregious if you're going to call some, but we, we can't see it on the contest game. That is that a, on the option play? Um, the orbit play. The orbit play. Yeah. With uh, yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, basically no. elongated triple option. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? I, I think they. I, I think this is on coaching. If if I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to say this. <clears throat> okay. You knew that your left tackle was struggling with this rush. Get that tight end out of the game. Go, go, go without a tight end. Put five, put four receivers on the field. That's going to get him. That's going to get that that rusher in tighter. Give Darius a little bit more of of a chance. He struggled with this the whole game. Or have Biscuit stay in and block this kid. Yeah, at least chip him before uh, releasing. Uh, this right here is on coaching because you're setting him yeah. up to fail. He's failed at it the entire game. He hasn't shown that he can do it. I know, but that and there's it, wide nines, and then there's a wide nine. That kid had to cover a lot of space. I'm with you. They should, I mean, they, Douglas they, should have got he a did shoulder. That times. He did that. He did that a few times throughout the game. That's not the first time he's lined up out there. Yeah, I Again, think that's that's a fair ask. Then pressing like that on this drive, Darius, who's played really well at times the last year and a half. Uh, he has a holding penalty that's egregious. He has a false start, and he allows this. And this is all in one sequence. It's tough. He had a tough game. That was no, a ball game that's where well, yeah, you're 28-14. Pittman just had a great punt return, and then. Christmas, come on. Just couldn't go on really against these guys. More good pressure. Oh. D-line's playing better. Yep. It's First. not even bad coverage. It's just yeah, the it's one just place he can throw this ball. Throw. Right. I mean, he puts it on him. While he's getting kind of hit here. Yep. Verse got in his face. Yeah, Ver, it's first making that's such a big execution. difference. Yeah. And they thought that they had a decent matchup with the third string tight end and there for Wake. Uh didn't think you know playing Lundy would be egregious and, and they got burned a few times uh, with that gamble. More good pressure. I see Wake yeah, throwing the ball. Get, huh? Getting a lot of pressure. No, that's the the same kind of that's what I'm talking about with the green dog, right? Like that's this what is it's the same look. blitz we were just complaining about, right? Yeah, but green dog but look how much look how much better it's executed. Like how much more aggressive the linebacker is. He doesn't just run into someone. You know what that tells me? That it wasn't that it wasn't coaching that was the issue the first time around. These kids no. know what to do. They you just failed to do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Either Bethune was hurt or that this offense just like discombobulated in big time. That's not great air guitar technique. We got to work on. Yeah, sloppy. We'll, we'll give him a call. We'll bring him on. Yeah, that's really nicely done. Like the crap earlier when you were just running into the center and playing patty yeah. cake was was that's not good. Yeah. But hey, stops. You got stops. It, God, dude, if you could have just if you could have scored on that last drive like you were set up to. Oh. But even so, one thing that's been interesting is even on these, has verse verse even been in the game? He was the previous drive, I don't, or the previous play of that of this drive. He's been in on this drive. Kev. What did he play? Well, he only here. played like <laughs> ten snaps, right, Brendan? Do you know how many snaps? Uh, it, was, it was twenty something. Um, twenty, okay. Yeah. I mean, you there's you were able to get some pressure with Patrick Payton and oh, there's a lot a motion, of time. Kev. Yeah, there's been a couple motions, so I, I saw some that was that that threw me off, but Wait. they they did some motion. Give you some updates, PFF. This yep. is what I think FSU got. Got gifted. Um, yeah, no just, more, no, no more egregious than the crap that they were getting called. No, no, no tears shed. I know, I know. Good ball. It's a great catch. Cam, Cam doesn't catch. um make a lot of contested catches this season, but this was that was a good one. Bad relationship. And that's, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that pitch is gonna be hard to do. Well, there's no point to pitch. He's, he kind of ran himself out of the play, right? He went for the first. He saw the edge, though. I think he gave up on the concept of the play and yeah. just went and got it. Which was is that, fine. Sorry, yeah. Was that yep. to the short side of the field or the far side? Looks like it was a nub. They love running deuce to the short side of the field. They, they did that against LSU, too. Running deuce? 
Span. Deuce, deuce, span. Oh, span. Sorry. I was like, sorry, I was thinking the formation. I was the like, deuce what? concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, sorry. All right, throw it up to Johnny Wilson. I wish we could have taken advantage of that more on the game. That was something that you pointed out, Kevin, and that's something that Dane and I talked about where Wake is, is a very well-coached defense, but they get burned because they don't have necessarily the athletes at corner to match up with teams that have really good athletes. I really thought that we – I wish we could have leveraged that more. It was probably a function of not having enough time to throw, but I would have liked to see more of that. Yeah, I mean, you really saw Clemson take their tight ends and just work. Nice. Uh, Wake Forest. Yeah, you definitely had more room. Great play design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Two point play right there. Very nice. You're gonna get kind of tight ends. Everybody, we've been killed by for years and years and years. Get the the motion there. Flowing this way, he's gonna block and then release late. On here. Nice. Sorely needed. It's a one touchdown game. You've played poorly all game. Uh, your defense started getting pressure and your offense started running RPOs and moving the football. You win you win one on ones and amazing how it how it makes coaching look better, huh? Oh. Greedy there. Yeah, coverage is not. I mean, the coverage isn't bad. That's that's the thing. That's Hartman before we jump on the. I mean, before we jump on the Florida State's corners aren't any good. You got to realize that they made they made Clemson's corners look bad, and I know they're great. freshmen. Oh. Not great. He's in the right. What's position. here, man? He's in good position, right? Or what? What do you think? Like this is just an absurd play. What do you? What, break this down for me. I think the kid's in a good position. He just. He needs to be taller. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? You got good pressure. So it's missed times to jump a little bit. I don't. The kid just bodies him. I mean, the kid uses his body so that Greedy can't get up and get it. He's behind him. He's on his back, though. He's over, he's like if this was basketball, they'd call that over the back because he's over, he's on his back so that Greedy can't really get up and get it. He's pressing so is, into him. In your opinion, guys, is that a hat tip to the offense or a misplay by the defense? Because the kid was in the right position. I don't know. I, I, I tend to give more credit to the offense on that one. So it's a really spectacular luck. play. What did you, you say, B? It's a dumbass luck. I mean. Yeah, that was. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> All right, what is, happens here? This is a This play on Deloach. He's got the. Third and 10, too. Third and 10. He's got the C gap, I think. That's what this is. Yeah, ABC. Um, I don't know what he's doing. This Second is not pass, a great drop obviously. for him. Yeah, he, he does not have a great drop here. Yeah. And so that's he gets up sucked up into the wrong place. Fourth and manageable. It's tough. Bunch, like you said, Adam. Yeah, that's it's that's actually no covered pretty well. I mean, they they actually play this right. They just get a clear out. I mean, they won that play based on the play before by getting it to fourth and three. That I mean, you really yeah. won that 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 series on the play before, mm -hmm. which is well, kind of the the name of the game for Wake. They were in third and manageable a good chunk of it. We've highlighted mm -hmm. some third and longs, but they were really in third and manageable a ton. I don't know if I don't remember if they showed it in the condensed, but earlier in the game they ran this but ran out. Oh. And this time they did the same thing but ran in. Just hard to hard to gather. It might even be a choice route. He might even get to read the leverage and, and kind of break on it. It's a good team, good wide receivers, good quarterback, and good coaching. Yeah, all already in the five years it, old, right? They're all yeah. they all played together forever. And this just man it killed you. Yeah. It killed yeah. you. These type of plays killed you. We're just not coming downhill at linebacker. Yeah, this is on Tatum Bethune. Squeeze that gap. Go squeeze it. You you got a see ball. Baseball. He's just he's just hesitating. What and, do you look like in practice? This, this, this isn't then? slow mesh. So, this so, is not slow mesh here. Tatum, I, I think it's fair to remember that he left the Louisville game and returned with some kind of arm brace. He was limited in snap count against Boston College. Uh how 
I don't think it's revealing like house secrets because it it's shown like in the portion of practice we're allowed to have B roll in. Um, mm-hmm. He's wearing a green jersey, which is yeah. a lower contact threshold jersey. So I mean, he was active. He was doing everything. Um, just <sighs> it doesn't seem like a guy who's 100 percent right now. Oh, third and five. Oh, tough. Just tough. That stinks. Yeah, you're in, in the back. He's in the backfield. In that tight front again. Um, but now you have Verse in as kind of your four eye, which is an interesting choice. Yeah, he just gets washed. He, yeah, he gets washed. I don't think he's who you want as a four eye, but um, twelve isn't doing any better. So, so your linebacker be moving downhill a little bit before. I mean, it seems mm-hmm. like fifteen. But it all just gets washed and cut back. Who's supposed to be there? That's what I'm saying. This, this that's up on fifteen, right? I think fifteen gets sucked up again. Yeah, I, I guess he reacted to the. I think he gets over ambitious. Yeah, I that's not his wrong. gap. You gotta, you gotta know your gap. Safety's got to be down a little sooner. Pressing, like you said, Brendan, doing too much. Got to mm-hmm. play assignment, situational football. They did not do that enough. Yeah, I agree, AB. I don't know where these guys are going. I know you want too too deep, and you want to kind of cover your back, but okay with uh, too deep, but. These, I mean, you're at the goal line. Why are you, why are you dropping further? Yeah, what are, it's two scores no matter what at that point, whether they score yeah. a touchdown or a field goal, right? It's the difference between 10 and 14. At that point, you weren't getting a field goal or anything. You needed two touchdowns to win you, no matter time what. Time was more important yeah. than the points, right? Great effort by Jared Verse here. Like, this was mm-hmm. cool. Like, this shows that this, what this team is. Like, they haven't played well this drive, and they get a stop. Like, they force some uh, that's little things, you, I guess. You force a chance, right? Right. You've blocked a kick before. Yeah, you're I do. Giving yourself, you're giving yourself a chance in the game still. Yeah. I thought there was a chance that Clawson would go for it. <laughs> Clawson looks like someone who would die in the beginning of a Jurassic Park movie. Like, a, <laughs> like the lawyer who's dropping the deuce concept? No, yeah. no. This is more like the guy, like a gatekeeper, kind of like a like an Muldoon. employee. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Oh, he doesn't. He dies as cool as Muldoon. He's not yeah, getting Muldoon's killed by a cool. velociraptor. He's getting killed by a compsignathus. <laughs> is Muldoon the clever girl guy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that dude didn't skip leg day, did he? R.I.P. Man, I I never actually noticed his quads until just now. <laughs> I didn't oh, never heard anybody Go- comment on that before you. <laughs> Go- Google Google it. Thank me later. I can't. I've got a work computer. <laughs> Muldoon quads. All right. Well, at this point, yeah. On some level, Wake Forest is dropping a little bit. Um, it's not dissimilar from what they were doing all game. Um, and this is different. This is different. Really, now. You're down really 10. Made of getting Jordan to go right. Here you're able to run a little bit outside zone. Almost got. Uh, yeah. well, that's on fourth and one too, man. That was close. That that I mean that's that's a game ender if you get the thing blown up. Third and fifteen, obviously. They didn't pitch it. I saw. You get help on the left, but just watch sports information director Derek Satterfield. There, yeah, he's wanting the, the PI throws it up the hands. It's close. If this guy doesn't last second get a hand on this ball, it might be PI. But also, biscuit, you got to go up and get that ball through a defensive back. I know Mike was livid. That doesn't look like PI to me. But... Mike, Mike was no, pissed. Oh, I, I didn't think that was a particularly. I, I didn't think that based on the crap was, they've been calling. I get it, and. Yeah, I know people like this. I'd be a lot, I'd be a lot more pissed about this. What is that? Oh man, it's it. It is what it is at this. Is point. it true he went and worked with Graham Gano? Because if so, he needs to get his money back. More like Graham Good. No, I don't know. Graham Good. I didn't learn a damn thing. I can't. I can't. I can't slander Double G. Yeah. Yeah. Dave. Oh Jesus. Oh, what a game. I feel Austin's the same guy. way I felt about it before. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems starting to talk about Raptor quads by the end of it. Um, you just, to me, I thought the thing that stood out to me more was obviously the defensive line didn't play a great game, but man, the linebackers were out of sorts and yeah. situationally, they just played such bad situational football. And I, it, I don't know. And it, it, it kind of that that's the one thing that carried over from the first quarter to the fourth quarter. I 
I'm not going to say their heads weren't in it, but they didn't. I don't know. It, the focus was lacking for sure. I guess that's the best way I can put it. In my opinion, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree. Yeah, and Mike really seemed to go almost, I, I don't want to call him defensive, but he really kind of, I thought, went out of his way to talk about the focus and the energy was good. I never felt that way in this game. I, no, I don't I, agree with that. Can you explain really to me don't. how you can be so lost in coverage in the first half and in the second half you can be a lot so much tighter? They weren't doing drastically different things. How does your technique and your in your play improve that much just because of halftime? Yeah, I, I interpreted were, what go ahead, Kev. Maybe they're worried that Wake Forest knows how to push off and they didn't want to be tight on them. <laughs> maybe. Uh, so I, I do think to the point of, of what Mike was talking about with, with energy and, and what like the way I absorbed his comments was uh, the team played hard, just didn't play focused. And that I think is, it's tough to quantify like how much energy you're giving when you're playing poorly and like you're missing That's tackles fair. and bad things are happening. We saw when good yeah. things are happening, how engaged you were and whatnot. Um, uh, the, That's fair. The, the big takeaway to me was like, yeah, this felt very 2021 ish again. Mm -hmm. I just, it, it, you were playing with your hand behind your back for portions of the game. The good news is like you've played a subpar game. Uh, you had a chance. You had multiple chances. Like you mm -hmm. had to play a really clean game, but but you played your maybe even your B game. I think you, you may have come out with a win on this. This was probably like your D game, uh, C being generous. It, it's unfortunate you play your C or D game when you're going into a stretch of at North Carolina State and home against Clemson. You felt like you had an opportunity to capitalize another week before you get into that stretch and then into your bye and get a little bit healthy. Feels like maybe you let an opportunity slip away. I'd agree with that. I would definitely, I would definitely agree with that. And it doesn't get any easier. Uh, but Florida State, you've got, like you said, it was your C or your D game. So once again, we know what this team is capable of, and it was better than what we saw on Saturday. Any other final, final thoughts before we wrap this wonderful game up in a bow and don't think about it for a while? Yeah, I think, I think the. Uh... The question is whether you can bounce back on this offensive line, whether or not you can make adjustments. You're going to see that wide nine again. You're going to see people bring three, drop eight with a wide nine. Um, if if you can't block it, then you're going to have trouble moving the football. Uh, NC State is a has a top 10 defense in the country, so uh, you're going to have to figure out ways to manufacture yards and manufacture points against that that defense. And um, you're going to have to be more creative than you, than you were against Wake Forest. And... Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think that this is this is a kind of a concerning loss because it's it's a game that you kind of needed to win if you wanted to be taking that next step definitively. Um, the record's still good. You can still move forward, but I think it's just harrowing to see kind of what what you're missing on on both sides of the lines and how how big of an effect that makes. Um, uh, coaching wise, I think I think the coaches got a little bit too much like hate for their game planning and play calling. Um, just consistently you, you saw people complaining like, Hey, we got out coach. We got out X, Y, Z. Uh, at the end of the day, you also got outplayed. I thought uh, Wake Forest made catches that you didn't make. Wake Forest made plays that you didn't make. And um, you know, at the, at the end of the day, the better team won the team that made the plays. So um, <clears throat> I don't know. I, that's how, that's how I feel. I think that, I think that, too much gets made for of coaching when when a team loses, and uh, at at a certain point, uh, players also need to make plays. So, I think that is well said, my wonderfully talented and handsome friend, Adam and Kevin. On to the next one, boys. As a sign of respect, mutual respect, Brendan, I'm gonna let you do what you do so well. Stick this landing, dude. Get us out of here. All right, for the triple option. I guess I'm part of it, the quadruple option. Uh, this has been Brendan <laughs> Sedone, Trey Rowland, Coach AB, Kev Little. Thanks for joining us, fellas. Stick in the landing. <laughs>